Hello everyone, I'm Aladash and I'll be here one night burlesque uh, for PC. So the game came out today, it's developed and published by Red Deer Dot Games, there's a dot in there. Uh, so, uh, like, this game is a visual novel where you can, there's some point and click, not to move the character, but like to interact with certain things, you know, things like that. And at the same time it's like a d a detective or something like that, with a little bit of mystery, so... It looks interesting, and even the the graphic style, you know, like noir, uh, but then like uh, animated something like that. So it looks interesting. So let us uh, start. By the way, it can exist some edits in certain parts because at this point with YouTube uh, showing a little bit of skin, it's a it's a it's an issue. Yeah. Angels then. Damn, I need to find my meds. HPSD, another civilization is are an act of God. That will kill me if I know what to do, or maybe not. After all, there is not a mortal scene. Are you deaf, girl? Is this coin? Is this a coin? Reparative uh, psychosensitive disorder. Oh. Well, uh, it looks like she has it, but where the hell is it? Does it look like you can find? I search it everywhere. Probably this is supposed to happen. Oh, there we go, it comes. There we go. Ah, it doesn't have any peel. Thank goodness you are alive. But not for long, but I was gonna kill you. Yeah, I know. What's wrong, darling? My meds, please. Damn, bottles empty and I just can't. Not without them. Calm down, love. We'll figure something out. What exactly happens if you miss a, do a dose? Is it dangerous like insulin or something? Yeah, sort of. I, uh, I'm psycho freak. Sorry, Liz, I want not talk about it. No worries, darling. We have all our little secrets. Just tell me, do you keep a spare at the apartment? There should be an extra bottle in my cabinet. For fuck's sake. Who the hell is talking? First, Holly and now Lise? Just a sec, boss. We're going. But, but, not by much, Holly, unless you want to get our sir our server on a plate. But please, I told you not to worry, didn't I? Just let me grab your keys. I seem to left mine in a different bra. Uh, what for? I'll run home during your solo and grab those pills for you. Won't even look on label, I promise. Oh, that. Thank you, Liz. You are the best. Of course I am. Now let's go. And now the show. Ah! That everyone's been waiting for. Why that was there? Three dots. Quite right, hehe. <laughs> Just start already. As a kid, I was mediocre. Oh, I cannot read that because I need to pay attention to that. Little gray mouse, dead girl. <laughs> Couldn't read that. It's gonna be hard to pay attention to what's happening in screen if I need to pay attention to the uh, the dot. I wonder if you miss everything, what the hell happens? Probably she freaks out. So otherwise, I start to hear them. Their thoughts. <laughs> the 
their deepest desires. The pink one is cute! So curvy, yummy! The burlesque, just give them to me! Their deadly seeds! All their eyes pointed at me like a load gun. Uh oh, she's entering in panic. Alright. She started to enter in panic during the show. Well, is this a church? Isn't this supposed to be a lease? <laughs> kill love, kill pain, kill lease, huh? Why the hell do you want to kill Liz? <sighs> Did that happen? One night burlesque. Well, this shows like burlesque, you can see in movies, there is a lot of movies that they show these burlesque shows. So. Oh, we are seeing Liz with someone else. No, so Liz is alive. Who the hell is this then? Isn't that pills? Wake up. Madame, what? Why are you here? Oh, so this is the boss, is it? Here, cover yourself. Okay, but how did I get back to the dressing room? You scream like the devil, then black out on stage, so we had to carry you. Scared the shit out of everybody, by the way. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Are you on something? Skags, Ash, Oxy, any psycho bump? I know I have zero tolerance for that stuff in my club. The second you bust your nose, I'll kick your ass out of here. I know, I know, but you got it all wrong, boss. I'm... Uh, really stressed. I love to work here, but between this and my day job, there's just not enough time to relax. It must have been an anxiety attack. I had one before the show too. Are you sure that you don't take anything spicy? Maybe some big O to make you more relaxed, eh? No boss, only prescribe anti-anxiety drugs. Actually, he's promised to bring me them after the show. You can ask your, yourself. I already did. Your story checks out. Thought the blank label still makes me wonder. Huh? This is yours, isn't it? Yes! Thank you, ma'am. Did Liz give it to you? Not willingly. She shoved a pill down your throat and refused to explain what it is. It's just we respect your privacy. Ha! <laughs> I, I will if you didn't just perform the exorcism of Emily Rose on my fucking stage. Uh huh. Where is she now? Waiting outside. Liz, you can come in. So they are like best friends, you can say. Holly. Oh my god, Liz, I was so worried. You, I should be the one worried. You are still tremming, darling. Listen, I'm so sorry about the pills. I've really tried to... Yeah, yeah, that's enough. She knows you are the tits and all. Now, take her up. No. Actually, I'd like to stay for a while till I get better. Like, so when is that black screen? Is like the, the mind. Maybe at the bar if you don't mind, boss. Fine, whatever. Once you are there, make yourself a drink to calm down. I don't want you to scare our guests any more than you already did. And maybe you have, and may you have, and you may help with serving drinks, but don't counter performing today. I won't let you on stage until I'm 100% sure you got your shit together, capish? Yeah, I do, capish. I think. Not such a bad, a terrible liar after all. Just one more thing, man. 
Yes? For a person that hates drugs, you sure know a lot about them, don't you, boss? Yes, Oli, I do. Is that all? Good. It's high time I go back. Somebody needs to clean up this bloody mess. Wait, there was blood? I'm talking about the fiasco you have put on stage, Holly. Oh, right. Take care, girls, and remember, the show must... The show must and will go on. Sure, ma'am. Madam's wrong. I'm not it, Holly. I totally messed it up. Took me so long to get the pills, and when I found out what happened, I just panicked. Forced the one right into you without thinking. Your eyes were open, but you weren't there. Slow down, Liz. You... Are definitely the teeth. <laughs> uh, fair point, even two punch. And what's even? Even better, you're not Dang dead. It. Why the hell she say that? Uh, that's a weird way to put it. And again, shouldn't I be the one saying it? Yeah, um... Oh, whatever. I'm happy you are not dead, too. I love you, you little oddball. Love you too. I love you too, little Miss Noir. I even love you. Oh la la, since when we are that official, Miss Whispers? Should I book a chapel or something? Uh, yeah, I'm joking, silly. Why the sad face? Why is it too much? No, no, it's something else. Can I ask you a few questions, please? Just a heads up, some of them might sound kinda strange. Sure thing, darling, shoot. Mm, plenty of people. After all, I'm well known for making enemies in the Italian cartel. I'm asking seriously. Anybody? I do know plenty of scumbags, Holly. You've met them as well. It comes with the freaking job. From Italian cartel? Really? You'll be surprised. There is this creepy old guy in the audience. Every time I see him, I got goosebumps. It's not my secret share, though. I already say too much. Not yours? Then whose? Quit it, Holly. I promise not to tell. In which show do you wear a white outfit? The cute one with ribbons. Midnight show, it won't fit you though. No worries, I just wanted to know when you wear it. Uh, right, next question. Is there any church that's important to you? Can be any in the city. Oh, so you want to book one after all. Just answer me, please. Ollie, I know you are a believer, but I couldn't name a single church in this city, even if my life depended on it. It kinda does. Now that sounds strange. No one followed you here? I mean, to the club. You know that someone did. He always does. Oh shit, you are talking about Arthur, aren't you? I thought you'd given up already. He insists on calling him Art Rhythm. Now, but yes, I'm talking about that douchebag. I've just been ignoring him lately. It didn't help much, though. So he still claims I'm his muse as if I had nothing to say on the subject. How long has it been? Since we broke up, over two years, and after barely a year of the so-called relationship, it's just really utterly... Uh, I don't... Thinking about him makes me so angry. There are no words strong enough to describe this hair-brained and entitled pretentious annoying son of a peacock who constantly allows wallows in self-pity. I think you actually nailed it. Let's just forget he exists, okay? Do you have any past enemies? Grudge or anything like that? Does that everybody? Yeah, still. Anything particular coming to mind? Particularly? No, but peculiar, yes, there is this woman, I'm not sure though if I can talk about her. Please, please, it's really important, if you say so. Her name is Catherine Forktail, she was a physician, and I was her patient. We didn't exactly leave things on good terms, she was hurting people rather than helping them, and I wasn't the only one who thought so. Now it makes me both sad and relieved that she has lost her license. But why did she lose, lose it? That's the part I probably shouldn't be talking about. Besides, still a touchy subject for me, darling. I trust a doctor for tale and she took advantage of me. Do you think she might be here today, among the guests? I haven't seen her in a long time, so I guess not. Give me a second to think. You get into quite a lot of mess for such sweetheart. What can I say? Trouble finds me. But okay aside, what's with all these questions, darling? Are you trying to play detective? Donovan took you for his trainee or something? Damn, you're right, we have a detective in the audience. I can't believe I haven't thought about talking to him myself. After all, he practically lives here. Uh-huh. I'm starting to worry about you, Holly. That is more than I already have. I know you warned me, it's gonna feel strange, but... No, 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 don't worry, I'm going to save you, I promise. Save me? What the hell are you talking about? Probably it's better not to say. 
there's really no way, good way to explain uh, it, please. Not yet. And only a few hours left till midnight. Could you maybe take the night off, please? You well know that I can't. Madame won't find a replacement this late, and she already needs to figure out how to make things work without you. I could walk you home if you hurry up, talk a little more, but I must be back before the next show. That won't do, Liz. Just listen to me. No, Ali, you listen. First, you ask me a whole bunch of weird-ass questions, then you won't answer a simple question yourself. And you expect me to risk my job just like that? I can't believe I told you all this personal stuff about all those people. Also, you could play some mind games with me. It's not a mind game, goddammit. Then, what is it? Fine, don't tell me. You know the way to the bar, so... No, Liz, wait. Shit. Take the pills. I need to calm down. And change these goddamn clothes. Act 1, Little Miss Detective. I hope no one will notice me. Well, everyone noticed. Ah, they all did, of course. I guess I should try to read their minds. Alright. Oh god. I hope they will stop working soon. Uh, I never thought that I uh, would wish for that. Uh, so what do I know about these people without that freaking superpower? Does he look creepy and old enough to be the guy Liz mentioned? The deck Donovan is here so often that Sean keeps the table reserved for him as always. She's a hair girl, but I believe don't remember her name. <laughs> Could she be the physician who lost her license? Dr. Frocktail, was it? What was it? Arthur? Art Rhyme? Well, an asshole, that's for sure. Our Grand Master Sean Hoakan. I don't think he could hurt the fly, but he certainly could get an elephant drunk. Hi, Shawnee. Ah, here's my charming puppil. Puppil? I heard you are joining me tonight, am I wrong? The party's true, but... Uh, I came here to help serve the guests. Who's talking about babysitting? You, when you call me your pupil. Okay, my bad. Won't happen again. Just calm down, on. I am calm. Sure you are, Halls. Just take a few deep breaths, and Drink this, please. I can't do both at once, you know? What exactly is it? Green tea cocktail. With the ingredients I have, I couldn't think of anything else that might be soothing. And what's the difference between green tea and green tea cocktail? Well, the form isn't even part of the later. Uh, which one is which again? Just come, I'll show you. Alright, make a drink using all the ingredients. Try not to pour over the thing. Alright, so lemon. Herbal tea. Herbal tonic, not the tea. Herbal tonic. And simple syrup. Here we go, you are a natural. I have some priorities, that's all. Ah, your second gig? Barista by day, a super perform a super farmer by night. Super farmer? Oh, because performer, yeah. I was like, I shouldn't be super performer, but super farmer, performer. There we go. Okay, I think you are good to go. Could I take an hour from Detective Don? I saw the note about him. PD surplus. It should be easy enough, sure. In his own words, whenever the glass is empty, make it not empty. Surplus? Really? Is he that bad? Not bad, rather gloomy. You'll see. Hmm. 
Good evening, detective. Miss Whispers, I must say, after what happened, I didn't expect to see you again tonight. Even more so up close. To what do I owe the pleasure? Strange as it may sound, I have a murder case for you, detective. Ah, straight to the point, I see. Shouldn't you sweet talk me a little more with we discuss such daily matters, Miss Whispers? Maybe buy me a drink first, then say how handsome I'm a, I'm a, I am? My father taught me better than to lie. Ouch, you really don't fuck around, do you? I guess I serve that. So, you gonna help me or not? Perhaps. But I'm still going to need that drink. As gritty, hard-boiled that I don't work sober. It's a matter of professional ethics. Right. And what's your favorite poison? Whiskey sour. Oh, that's why, Sir Pose. What are you mumbling about? Nothing. Let me guess. Whiskey sour? Does he order one and same drink over and over again? Yep, pretty much. Whiskey. Okay, so ice. Uh, whiskey. And syrup. And more ice, of course, a lot of ice. Here we go, detective. I hope you like it. I made it myself. Thank you, Miss Whispers. I guess you don't. Oh, I do like it. This is my happy face, can't you tell? Uh, right, happy as sunshine. Okay, I have my drink, so who's that? No one, not yet. That's pretty damn fake, Miss Whispers. I thought you have a murder case for me. Oh, but I do. Hmm. Don't mock me, please. But I, uh, I don't. Let me start over. I know for a fact that one of the guests wants to kill my friend. That's quite an accusation, Miss Whispers. I assume you have some proof? Uh, not really. I don't know who the killer is yet. Still, you seem quite sure this person is here uh, at the club among the clientele. Could be the staff, right? It's not only the clientele. Actually, it could be someone from the staff too. But there are three guests that I already kinda suspect, so it's more than likely to be one of them. I'm really not in my element here. There, there. Cheer up, Miss Whispers. I'll play along. Tell me about those suspects. Well, I know close to nothing about the first one, who has ties to the Italian cartel apparently. The second is my friend ex-boyfriend and the only one I've actually met before. And the third may not even be here. Okay, let me stop you there. I solved the case. Already? Indeed, the second suspect is your killer. It's always the ex, or the present shithead. You so unless your friend is dating the old geezer? Doubt it. She's actually quite scared of him. Well, one does not preclude the other, but let's assume you're right. That leaves us with the ex-boyfriend. Case closed. Detect, please, don't dismiss me like... Wait, Geezer? I haven't told you he's old. You must know who I'm talking about. Of course I do. There are not so many people tied to the cartel. At least not at this place. But if you think I'll spill the beans because you caught my sleep, Miss Whispers, you are deeply mistaken. It's police business, not some wannabe detective, uh, whatever this is. Can you at least point me at the guy? I could, but I won't. He's a... He's a dangerous man, Miss Whispers. I feel like we'll try mind reading again, or maybe just keep talking to him to see if I can learn more this way. Wait, how the hell, how the hell this works? Gabriella, what what the hell was the other one? Charlotte, Gabriella, Bor Boroni, Raffaello, Boroni again. I didn't understand that mechanic in there. Because looks like you could go with your mind to the guy or the guy the mind guy to yours. Get out of my head. 
He kicked me out. <laughs> I was right after all. What? Madame is a freaking member of freaking cartel and Detective Donovan. You knew about me the whole time? I suspect it from the moment you fell on stage, Miss Whispers. I'm a detective after all. You seem to forget that despite the fact this is very reason why you came to for to me for help. And you have HPSD too. Many people are on the force too, it's just useful in this line of work. But I'm more of empath than a mind reader, so... You can not feel what I'm feeling, detective. More like I can just read your feelings quite well. You on the other hand, you pierced through my brain like a hot knife through the butter, didn't you? Uh, I guess so. Although I don't love that visual. Is an unlawful vision of private's better description then? You tricked me into doing it all. Oh, also, isn't it obvious? You got that whole vision prepared in your mind for me. And you read my feelings before I did anything. Fair enough, but don't try to do that ever again or arrest you without a second thought. Hang on, you are able to control it, aren't you? Yeah, more or less. There are times when I feel as I'm being drowned into other people's thoughts. But if I take my pills on a regular basis, it's manageable. I also have those brief moments of clarity as the pills wear off. With a proper concentration, I can control it then, yes. Quite impressive, considering you have no training whatsoever. But no more mind reading of law officers, got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, in that choice, I could have said uh, to talk normally and... Uh, our character wouldn't know that Donovan has HPSD and that he knew that we could uh, read minds. Good, you can go now, Miss Whispers. Thank you, officer. I have a moment to take my meds. Is there a way to not take the meds? A small dose should help me keep control. So, but now we know that uh, the Madame uh, Charlotte uh, belongs to the Italian cartel. Act 2, the musician and the muse. I wonder if there, if I should have pressed space or not. Because I took the med. So what now? I could talk to the old guy. Oops, I need to click over here. No, better not when he's still with her. That leaves me with. Can I make another drink for Arthur now? Whoa, these skinny legs or something? Skinny legs. You nickname every customer, don't you? Well, actually, he didn't. I need to talk to him, so I hope that you will tell me what he usually drinks. Only what? And he pretends to sleep it all night long. Huh? Why is that? This artistic man is too precious to damage with bulls, or so he says. Truth be told, I'm pretty sure he's broke. Maybe I should make him something fancy then, you know, to soften him up. You can make whatever you want, holes, as long as someone paying for it. Madame will kill me if I start giving away free drinks. Y yeah, good point. She's already angry at me. Fine, I'll tell her later to take it out of my paycheck. Just need to figure out what to prepare first. Hmm, expensive drink? Probably. Vodka Gina, nice. Ah, still not good enough. Hi. Uh, Art Rhythm. I'm gonna say by his, uh, this name. Hi, Art uh, Rhythm. I, uh, I've brought you a drink. It's on me. Holy dearie, thank you. It's so nice to know that my music is so appreciated. Like, let's pretend that we are friends to him. Especially by small people. Just remember, it's not some lame song poetry. It's electric rhymes. Uh, yeah, baby. Yeah, totally. Mmm, tasty. So go on, ask me about my music. Uh, yeah, I would like to talk about your inspirations too. What makes Lee so special to you? Can I click in here? I bet many other girls would love to be an inspiration for such a great artist. Yuck. Keep it together. 
No, I think it is always to blink. Why choose someone who won't? Oh, so that's what bothering you. How to say it politely. Those who sigh are the most undesirable, dearie. Politely? What do you mean by this? Uh, why do I even try? To put it bluntly, I won't have some pale, skinny wannabe model posing as my muse. I'm not gonna say this because he's like criticizing you. I'm not a muse material then, pity. You are certainly not. Lisbeth, on the other hand, she's light to my darkness, love to my hatred, a spark of life warming my dead heart, and I'm her. Uh, don't interrupt. Protect her. Uh huh. And what does she need to be protected from? Other people, of course. All those filthy bastards that watch her dancing on that fucking stage every fucking night. Just like you. And the fucking weirdos on the internet begging for a sniff of her underwear. But does she tell them to buzz off? No. On the fucking contrary, she indulges their sick fantasies. We are just doing our job, you know? Oh, really? So. Do I want only me to enter? No, you need to connect both of them. So you now wait only, is it? What the fuck is this? So you don't want my old socks? Nah. I'm pretty sure they won't fit me. That's just artful. Some guys will kill for them or even marry me, no doubt. But maybe I could buy you a drink first? Maybe, maybe. Need to go work now. Catch you later, Mr. Dark. Sure thing, birdie. Take, take, like, take care. Bye. Hi, Dick. Hi, birdie. What's up? Fuck you and your hard mother, you fucking motherfucker. I don't want to talk to you never again. Hmm? Why? Cause you are a fucking creep that sh just wants to screw me over. Like every f other fucking creep. Is sex chatting part of your job too? Doesn't that make you hearts? Hang on, sex chatting? I've never... Right, I forgot, you are that friend of hers. Holy, holy. Hollier than to, she called you. Ha, ah, that's just perfect. Go ask her about Mr. Big Dick 69. Miss Hollier than to. Oh, I will ask her, but about this Bill Dark guy and you messing with her phone, douche. You'll see what I mean. What are you working on right now? My song, okay, but what about about the two strongest forces in the universe, of course. Love and death? So you really have listened to my electric uh, eclectics, and I hear I thought you were an imposter. No way, I'm a true fan. So, any new killer singles? Oh yes, The Dying Swallow. I've released it just yesterday. Nice. How did you come up with such an intriguing title? Easily. And? You can't take a hint, can you? Ah, please, Art, don't be like that. Like, I wonder if you should always... Uh, do this. Feathers. Okay, nice uh, cover. Knock knock, girly. That's a cool cover, I'm gonna be honest. Do you have a stroke? No, I don't, I'm okay. I might get one from this conversation, though. She just got lost in my thoughts for a moment there, sorry. Dead cover with Liz, does it mean she's the dying swallow? Are you a religious? Are you religious in any way? Will you be able to kill someone? Are you religious in any way? Well, I take inspiration from many cultures. They glitz and glamour, they cute beliefs. But all in all, my music is my religion. Uh -huh. What cultures? Could you elaborate? Hmm. No. 
Will you be able to go kill someone? For art? Depends who. Someone like you? Perhaps. If you stood between me and my music, I'll end your social life. And if that someone was Liz, I will never. Hmm. So it's like you need always to find this, this spot to connect, right? It's what it looks like. You can never, if you don't uh, do it, you can never go and read the, the thing. Liar. Right. I need to take my meds as soon as possible. How can you even says that? Oh, I didn't mean anything bad, really. You know, best all love and hate are two sides of the same coin. Did he mention he's lying? Or does he know why? Uh, or does he know I am? Well, that's true, but I'm too fragile and good looking for jail. Those animals there will rip my ass in half. And I don't even want to imagine what they will do to my precious vocal cords. Uh, me too. Let's move on. Wait a sec, what are you hiding in your pocket? I, this is the problem, I don't know if you can always go for this. Or if there is like uh, a certain amount of times that you should do it. Because with this you can always find the secrets. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you cannot move when it's looking. Okay. Alright, the key... Don't, don't we have a key like this? What the hell? He stole our keys. Give them back now. I did what? Ha <laughs> ha! Are you out of your mind, girly? I know it's in your... Fuck off! I'm out of here. No, where are you going? Shit, shit, shit. How did I mess it up again? Not this time. I have to talk with Liz and tell the detective. If I use my powers too often... So in that probably you shouldn't read. My whole world becomes distorted. So basically it's like you only need to use on the right times probably. I wonder, it's so hard to understand. I found Liz on the backstage. Liz, there you are. Oli, I have a show in a minute. Hear me out, please. It's about art. What did he do again? He stole your keys. That's why you couldn't find them this morning. Are you sure? Pretty sure, but I couldn't do much about it. He bounced as soon as I told him to give the keys back. Okay, so we need to change our logs. Search the barn. He might have left some cameras after all. You aren't angry? It's not the first time he did something like that, so I guess I'm more tired than angry, darling. I'm not gonna confront him about it either, if that's what you expected. It's exactly what you will want me to do. Better ignore him all together, move on with our lives. Hopefully one day you will get as tired as he's tiresome and leave me alone. You shouldn't enable him like this. I don't enable him, but you did, Ollie. Why you talk to him in the first place? I had to. You are in danger, Liz. I told you already. Holy darling. Liz! The madame is talking. He's calling. 10 minutes! Not now, Charlotte. Be there in five, boss. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Uh, sex chatting? He mentioned this guy you were uh, sex chatting with, someone called Bill Dark. Son of a buttfuck. How does he know about Bill? Hang on, what is a son of a buttfuck? Uh, I guess Pooh? Oh yeah, that makes sense. So who's Bill? He's an online friend, but we've never even met. Just role played a little. I like him, Holly. That's all. Damn. I think you need to change your pa phone password list. Arthur must have accessed it somehow. By the way, he might have also blocked that Bill guy. Shit, fuck, pooh. 
That's why Bill stopped messaging me. Do you really call me Miss Holier than Thaw? Arthur will do whatever it takes to eliminate me, darling. Hmm. That's why I might have called you Miss Saint or Holier or whatever. Long time ago, when we didn't really know each other. And I'm sorry if I did. The Dying Swallow its the name of his new single and it's somehow related to you? Sure it is. Some people call me Birdie and for a good reason, my surname, didn't you know? Know what? Is there a bird called Noir? No silly, well maybe, I don't know much about birds, but Lisbeth Noir is only my stage name. On paper, I'm Elizabeth Swallow. What? How the hell did I miss that? I guess maybe. Wait, isn't Whispers your stage name? No, it's just my name. I have no others. Well, here you go, darling. We should stop both assuming something without asking. Silly us, huh? That's all, Liz. Okay, then. I have one more thing to say. I'm really, really sorry for overreacting earlier. It's just... It isn't healthy for you, for anyone. But I, I don't know what to say, Liz. We'll talk about it later, okay? Now go be fabulous. And I'll find Donovan in the meantime. I'll try my best, darling. Donovan was smoky outside the club. Detective, here you are. Miss Whispers. Is it about Boroni again? Because you already know everything I do. No, no, that's not it. I talked to the first suspect, the ex. So, K. Solvent is the murderer. He's an effing thief, that's for sure. He stole the keys to our apartment. Did you see it happen? No, but I've read his mind, detective. He ran away so as soon as I mentioned the keys. In that case, I'll have a little talk with Mr. Shawcross about personal boundaries and breaking them. Wait, since you, when do you know Arthur? And how do you know he's the ex? Simple deduction, Miss Whispers. You shared the apartment with Miss Noir, and I already suspect she's the soon to be victim. Besides, I visit the lovely club often enough to notice a rather toxic relation to Mr. Shawcross. Isn't it a little weird he knows so much? Is he really such a brilliant detective? Or? I'm that cool. You say you can't read minds. I can't. I'm just really that cool. Don't overthink it, Miss Whispers. Let's catch up later, okay? After my talk with Miss Shawcross. How are you going to find him? I have my match. Don't you worry. I will find him. Okay. Act 3. Play cute little lamp <laughs> or a cute little devil. <laughs> Do 
Is everything all right, child? Uh, not quite, father. I overheard who, are, who you are and hope that we could talk a little. Late I've been having... Uh, instant cr uh, desires. Desires, you say? Well, of course, my child. I'm always willing to help a lost soul. A little angel like you, even more so. Oh my, great, so... Why does someone like you visit a place like this, father? Well, I got my reasons apart from enjoying the show. Although I'll admit, I do enjoy it quite a lot. Are you too afraid that someone will notice? No, child. I fear no one but God. Hmm, probably not. Guns fear me it's like a cross. You should rather ask yourself why do you consider my press here as inappropriate? Is this in such a place a wicked act? Much less working at it. It's got some serious god complex. No, of course not. We are not doing anything wrong. Nothing wrong. I won't go that far. As Matthew 5.28 says, anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Exactly. So at least one of us has a sin a little, my child. Oh, my father. Now that's inappropriate. Yes. Yes, it is. But I do believe every sin can be forgiven with two repentance. Hang on, you were in the paper. Is there a big stained glass widow in your church? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. But what does it have to do with your naughty desires? Well, uh... See, I don't know if I should always do it or not. She says that she gets, like, weaker or something. Like she needs to take out the pill, but don't you want to do this? Like that you know uh, the mind, you can read their minds. Don't you want to always do this? Well, it's something like this, the, uh, the church that we saw the window. If I'm not mistaken. It will be stupid of me to just ask if it's a big building with a cross. Ah yes, that will be quite silly. Since we are already talking about it though, will you mind telling me what kind of bird is it? Just look for the big building with a cross on Martin Street, my child. It will be much easier to find that way than check every church window in the city. Alright, oh, yes, silly me. The one in his mind seems to be a dove. Hang on, I saw you in the paper talking about HPSD. Ah yes, the newest trend, STD. Uh, as far as I know, HPSD isn't transmissible, not sexually, nor in any other way. Yes, yes, of course, I'm only kidding, sweetie. STDs are just ordinary godsend disease. This plague of psychos, on the other hand... I wonder if mine is getting smaller and smaller? It's hard to understand since the game doesn't explain, like... The mechanic it only explain it only shows his the arrow, so I don't know. Burn them all. Even the Bible wasn't that the Bible. Current not only the body but also the soul, both in Kurubal and beyond salvation. Even if those psychos have no control over it. Especially if so, the plant of salvation is designed for human beings, not for animals. It doesn't matter whether you give in to your desires, true believers and all state to fail to be perfect. The damned ones, however, they can't repent for their sins as their mere existence is weakness. He's serious, he'll wipe us all if he only could. Do you understand? Fuck. Cool that my dad doesn't think this way, I hope. Yes, father, thank you for enlightening me. You're welcome, child. Is it unforgivable to kill another human father? Not at all. There is no sin that God will not forgive, as long as you are willing to repent. In some cases, it's even commendable to, let's say, 
deprived them of their sinful existence. What do you mean? What case? One example is if you are defending your family and the other will. Suppose that you'll be the one of those devil spawns trying to read my mind. Then I'll have to use this little thing. Oh fuck. To make you stop. And no one will blame me for that. Especially our lord in heaven. But of course that's not the case. Isn't it child? Oh shit. No no no. Of course not. Ooh, does he know? Do you have any incentive to size father? I do have plenty. But I'm afraid I won't be sharing. With you. Not here sweetie. See but now it's like. Should I read this mind, knowing that uh, he has a gun? This is the problem, it's like the game doesn't uh, explain like uh, Oh, you should lose it, uh, always Or you should say like, be careful, you know, something like that <laughs> Well, it looks like he has some instant sires because we saw a girl you should attend my sermons or even better, join one of my private sessions for those who seek further spiritual guidance. Ah, uh, he's done right and dressing me with his eyes. Yeah, it was us. Because of the pink hair. I need a shower. I'm gr I'm grateful for this conversation, Father. Your words helped me. Gratefully, you say. No doubt you behave better than the other one. Please? What do you mean? Mm, come closer. I can show you my other gun, sweetie. Oh shit. Rafael. But who you was talking? Get your fucking hands off my girl. Was he talking about uh, Gabrielle or Madame Charlotte or Liz? Are you alright, Holly? Yes, I think. No, 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 no. I'm not that fucking pervert. He has a gun. I'm gonna say that. That's not Ill illegal. Are you defending this comeback? No, Holly. I'm not. And he threatened me with... With it. He won't do it in public. Besides, Rafael knows that if he did something to my girls, I won't forgive him. But he tried on. I just don't get this, man. Gabriel. What? Madam Child to get rid of this Testa de Caso H ago. Gabriel uh, Boroni, however, is sorry. Sorry, Lona, sister. Sister? And it seems she owes you an apology. Can I ask? Ask away, girl, before I change my mind. Who the hell are you? Holly, oh, you know who I am, your boss, this club owner. It's not like I'm leading some grand double, double life, and yet you drop at the accent. I have a stage persona, certo. I thought it works the other way around. I do have an accent, but our older brother required that we learn to speak properly. So when I stopped obeying him, I went back to using my natural voice. Your older brother? You mean Michel? Why, I'm not surprised you know his name. Yes, Michel is the head of our little familia. So a mob boss. Yes, essentially. Don't worry about him, though. He promised to never come here. And unlike Rafael, he always keeps his promise. For better or for the worst. What role does a pastor play in your family? It's much easier to gain power and get away with things if you have God on, ours, on your side. Or at least if you are able to convince others that's the case. On the streets they call us the three, the three Angeli of Bohoni family. Deathbringer, soul healer and me, the herald of visions. Fucking angel of love, smuggling ecstasy to stupid bambini. That's why you fucking hate drugs? See, yes. And yet you named our group Charlotte's Angels. What can I say? All sentiments die hard. Or maybe I just wanted it to mean something good for a change. Okay, what the hell happened between your brother and Liz? I won't be going into much detail since it's really not my place. Saying that, my depraved brothers is no difference between a burlesque club and a strip joint. Yes, I've noticed. So when he asked Elizabeth for a private dance, she explained to him the difference rather bluntly. And uh, what happened next? He did to her what he did to you, showed her, he, her the damn gun, shit. So we had a fight. After uh, that, he vowed never to set foot in this damned whorehouse. I really won't mind if he kept this war, but he rarely does. Why do you allow such creeps in here? Oh, for fuck's sake, Holly. It's a burlesque club. All of our clientele are creeps, but he's dangerous. He, well, you saw for yourself. Absolutamente. 
Is a dangerous creep who also happens to be my brother. Let me ask you this girl, why won't you tell your father about your job? You keep saying that you love this place and how proud you are to be part of it. So why, Oli? How can you be sure that I didn't tell him? Oh, did you? Well, no, but I could do it if I only wanted to. Hmm, sure. I just wanted to point out to you, girl, that dealing with family isn't easy. Especially if, say, family specialize in the extortion, blackmail and theft. Okay, I get it. Just tell me one more thing. Your brother, the pastor, do you think you'll be able to shoot Liz because she pissed him off? I'll say he's not that kind of a gangster, Holly. He likes to show off his gun, certo, but there's much more to him than meets the eye. He can be uh, very deceitful if he only wants to and definitely prefers others to do his dirt, uh, dirty work for him. We even had this joke on the familia. First Rafael does the praying, then Michelle does the killing. Sounds like one half of the family. Oh, you can't even imagine. That said, I'm sure Rafael could hire someone to arm just about anyone, but you'll need a better reason to cross me than petty revenge. All those unwelcome visits here seem to satisfy him enough in that matter. And you will just let it be like this? I talk with him for 20 minutes stops and I already feel like hiding under my bed after a long fucking shower. No, Holly, not anymore. This time I will make sure my bro won't ever come back. You rest while I take care of him. <laughs> he, 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 he reminded me. The first time my HPSD kicked in, I thought I heard the devil. Act 4. Who are you, Ollie? I need to find that physician or talk with the deck or check on Liz or, or Sean. Hey, Alt. How are you holding up? Don't worry about me. Aside from questioning my faith more than ever, I'm good. Shit, I won't let you serve his drink if I knew that. Leave it, Sean. I'm serious. It's all good. Ugh, okay, tough lady. I'll drop it. There's actually someone asking for you. I want to tell her off, but if you are still ready for some action, who? She introduced herself as Dr. Forktail, wanted to talk to you while. Should I prepare a drink for her? Nah, I already made her tasty classic mimosa. Good evening, Dr. Forktail. Holly, good to see you. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Uh, okay. Why do you want to talk to me? And how did you know I would agree? I knew for the very same reason why do I want to talk, which is quite vague to be honest. You are playing with me, don't you? <laughs> I do. Look, I have a proposal for you. Ask me as many questions as you want, but only after you answer one of mine. Okay, deal. Ask me everything. Anything. Splendid. Why do you go on this little crusade of yours, trying to catch a soon-to-be murderer? How do you... Nah, uh, uh Answer me first. Is it it obvious? I do it for my friend, for Liz. And why are you sure she needs your help? Because I, uh... Okay, let me rephrase it. How can you be 100% sure she's gonna die? Is everything we think set in stone, huh? No, I guess it isn't. Hmm, you guess? Well then, your turn now. Ask your questions. So, how do you know so much? And how do you know so little, Miss Whispers? You should already... Uh, me, I'll figure it out already with your skills. Or am I wrong? No, you're wrong, miss. I don't know who you think I am, but I'm not omniscient. Like you seem to be. Are you... A psycho freak? I'm a psycho, that's for sure. <laughs> What's even worse, I deliberately made it happen. Huh? Are you saying it's possible to make oneself psychoactive? With proper medication, you can even move mountains, my dear. Unfortunately, those close-minded people in charge deem it illegal. illegal. Uh, okay, I'm starting to understand, I think. Were, were you here early, Dr. Forktail? I don't see you among the guests. I, I really still need to understand better this mechanic. Like, the game is cool and everything. Oh, she was coming train. The game seem, uh, is interesting, the, the dialogue, this choice that you can do, uh, you know. 
but that mechanic is still un to understand if you can always use it or not. I wasn't here at the beginning of the show, since I'm pretty sure that's what you really want to ask. In other words, you can scratch me from your little list. <laughs> I'm not a murder. You can of course assume I'm lying to you. Well, in her mind it does seem she was at the mat during the first show. Or lied to myself, altering my own memories, as so many people do. But then, can you trust anything you saw today? Yes, I can. I'm not crazy. I'm not saying you are, and I will never do that. It's unprofessional. <laughs> the only thing I'm trying to do is to help you find the answers. Oh, okay. How did you lose that? And what did Liz do to you? Oh, well, she testified against me in court. You see, I interfered with life of my patients beyond the legal boundaries, giving them medication that weren't quite FDA approved, if you get what I mean. I was really sure I'm doing the right thing, but ultimately, I just assumed too much. And you think I'm doing the same thing? I can't really know that, Holly. Do you think you are doing the same thing? No, not really, miss. I'm on the right track. I can feel it in my guts. Something awful will take place during the finale. And I will stop it. Stop him? Her? <laughs> I won't give you a straight answer, Holly. I simply don't have it. What are you doing here, Dr. Foxtail? I find it pretty weird coincidence that I had three potential uh, murderers, yes, suspects, and you just came here to fill in the role? <laughs> I guess I did. Let's just say I felt oddly compelled to come. As if somebody called to me without intentionally calling. Does that make sense? Uh, no, not at all. What do you think of Liz? Are you considering her your enemy, miss? <laughs> Hold on, ah, just a direct question serves a direct answer. So Liz Beth is the type of person who hides pain behind laughter. She's also a pathological people pleaser. That made her comply with many requests she didn't want to, participating in the delusions of others, for example. That's why I don't consider her my enemy. She's a victim of her own weakness, as I am of mine. Shit, that's a lot, more than I expected. I'm curious, what do you think of me, Dr. Forktail? Hmm. Classic daddy's issues with a pinch of an imposter syndrome. Other than that, you are as normal as they make them. Normal? Even when you know who, what I am? <laughs> and what are you, Oli? Never mind. <laughs> and what do you think of Arthur Shawcross, Lisbeth's ex-boyfriend and the very reason why she started therapy and medication? Narcissist personality disorder, which pinch of anger issues, depression, anal explosiveness. Anal what? No wait, I don't want to know. A massive douchebag driven by self rightness and about a dozen STDs. That's all? Won't you add he's a dangerous man or something? He's a sick man, sure. <laughs> but not as sick as I am, and not so dangerous in my opinion. Oh, plenty. I like that one very much. It's a peculiar case. A very disturbing man, even more disturbed than the rest of the genres around here. He tries to drown his demons with alcohol, which arguably is a quite typical threat of broken middle-aged investigators. These demons, however... Oh, they are really something. Beautiful little things that rather surf on the whiskey wave than get drawn by it. He cannot control them for the world. <laughs> what even worse, sometimes they control him. What do you mean? You'll have to ask him that yourself. I'm bound by patient doctor confidentiality. You were his doctor? No, I read his uh, files. And let's just say I'm not the only person around here to lose a license. You weren't really a physician, were you? What made you think I was? Or rather, who? I'm pretty sure you figured it out already. I did, but I wanted to give you an easy question this time. Let me ask this way. Why do you think Liz lied to you? Easy, she must be hiding something. Yes, she was hiding the fact that she needed psychological help in the past, and she's not as all happy and flawless as everybody assumed, which isn't something to be ashamed of, but many people still are. And I was a psychiatrist, if you are wondering. I still am, actually. What the, mix it, what the difference does a piece of paper make? Uh, I won't answer that one, okay? Okay, Oli, I do have one last question for you. What number do I think of? I will write it down on a piece of paper. 123? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> really? Show me the paper. Now, you need to take my word for it, Oli. Could you do that? Uh, I can drop it, but that doesn't mean I will believe you. Oh, why? Because you're clearly lying to me. Ah, yes, I do. Here's the actual number. 69137. Because for sure you want, you don't want to go and lose this, right? Yet, if I lie to you in my head, you won't be sure of it, will you? You'll believe the thought was real, doesn't matter yours or, or mine. 
Uh huh. To be honest, my brain starts to hurt when I'm trying to follow your quadruple first and all, Doctor Forktail, or what to call them. At this point, I kind of don't know what to think anymore. Marvels. That means I teach you all I can, my young disciple. You didn't really. Now go. Use your powers for the greater good. Meanwhile, I'm going to quietly finish my mimosa. Last peel. I wonder if you need to uh, not to lose all of them. I will worry about overdosing if I survive this night. Over there, I you can't lose uh, the mind for sure. I must say, all you really uh, go the extra mile while small talking to the guests. Well, I don't feel like it's getting me anywhere. Huh? What do you mean? Nothing, Shao, nothing. Did you see Detective Donovan? He was supposed to help me with something. Sure, he just started the whiskey. What? When? About 10 seconds ago. You're joking, right? I couldn't miss that. Nah, I'm serious. He just entered the club, put two fingers in the air, which means he made his special order, and then went to his spot. Just look behind you. Damn, you're good. But why did you say special order? I thought he always drinks whiskey sour. Okay, almost always. It's usually is made with cheap land the bill light but when he orders a glass of bee dark he takes it on the rocks i want to secrete such a magnificent single malt with lemon anyway bee dark peel dark is that his favorite whiskey <gasps> yeah but it's quite expensive so he only drinks it on special occasions oh shit he was the guy that was messaging when he solves the case or something okay okay i need to think i will serve it to him are you sure? You seem a little off holes. I'm good, Shawnee. Just give me the glass. Okay, chapter... Oh, it's the finale. Okay, so someone shot. I got your special order, Mr. Dark. Miss Whisper, can I drink it first? Before we talk, yeah, sure. Please enjoy your fucking whiskey. Thank you. For fuck's sake, you are the cyber sex guy? Ugh, you don't have to think so loud, Miss Whisper. I feel your anger anger strong enough. One more sip and you'll feel my foot in your ass as well. It was you all along, wasn't it? I was what? You know what? Wait, you think I'm the murderer? Hmm. No. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you have a crush on Liz. I'm not a teenage boy, Miss. And that's a motive you ever heard of one detective. Like you say yourself, it's always the present or the ex dickhead. And I know you think she dumped you. Then you have me for an idiot. Writing all those insults wasn't like Miss Noir. As I suspect, Michelle Cross broke into her phone and wrote to me. You only confirmed that suspicion. Why didn't you tell her? That I'm this, that sweet old creep watching her every night and matching her every day? Well, didn't feel like it, I guess. Do you love her? Love is a very strong word, Miss Whispers. I can't even be sure if I'm capable of loving, due to my condition. But I admit Miss Noir is one of few people I know who doesn't make me sink into a pool of darkness and nausea. And others do? Most people have this quiet and pleasant emotional aura. She doesn't. Even when she feels negative emotions, she doesn't emanate them. Huh. That's odd. She can get really pissed sometimes. I don't think you know her that well or at all. Yes, that's also possible. How do you know that? Just answer me or I'll make a scene. I didn't lose my lines, but I've got to spend for a few weeks because I shot someone that somebody else wanted to shoot. What does that supposed to mean? I felt someone's need, someone say it, and I fired my gun when I shouldn't. I was just overwhelmed by somebody else's feeling. Why are you celebrating? Oh, the key. Here we go, our keys. Arthur gave them back after all. What did you do to him? Don't act so scared, Miss Whispers. Huh? You were the one that asked me to talk to him, and that's what we did talk for the most part. And for the least part, I gave him a black eye. To be honest, it will be more than that, but our beloved past interrupted our little talk, pissed like a hydrant in the dog park. So I had to back away. Oh my god, it's just... Awesome. I wanted to smash him so bad when he, we talked earlier. Well, I shouldn't do it, Miss Whisper, especially considering my occupational stats. But I admit it felt good, really good. For once, I let my own uh, emotions let loose. You must have wanted to do it for quite long, haven't you? You can't even imagine, miss. Still, you tricked me and used me. We all use each other, miss, whispers. In one way or another, that's just how life works. I think you should read me now. 
I'll show it all to you. All these man sided under people's skin, this toxic emotional vomit that watch me every fucking day. You can say what you think me after war. It's my only chance to read him. Should I? No. Nah. No, I don't need to see what's in your brain to make up my mind. I know that someone will try to kill Liz during the finale. Probably with a gun because I heard a shot. I can also rule out Dr. Forktail as a suspect since she wasn't here during the first show. Which leaves me with two other suspects, you and the pastor. Unless Arthur got a yappa during the last few hours. Alright then, Miss Whispers, let's cut the chase. Who is the killer? Oh, you can only choose these three. Ah. I'm going with Arthur. I believe your first instinct was right to right, It seems that you certainly care about Liz and Bohon is a man who will think about a different kind of arm when Liz was dancing almost naked before him. Uh, what will I give to put that pig behind bars? So you think Arthur was the one whose mind you read? He's definitely obsessed with both Liz and Dev, but some details still don't quite add up. Dude, maybe I read few people at, at tunnels, may, or maybe like Dr. Fucktail said, I shouldn't trust my power so much. The case is over then, no one's going to shoot anyone. I wish, even if Arthur didn't plan this from the beginning, I'm afraid I could trigger him. He was furious when I finished talking with him, and your intervention after war didn't calm me down for sure. I'm pretty sure you will try something tonight. He shouldn't have any happened though, I checked him. Besides, you will never get permission for a gun. Yeah, unless... Bohani gave him a gun, Arthur will lose your gun. <sighs> he doesn't seem to have a plan, but he really wants Liz dead. I think he can attack her with his bare hands. Well, I will stop him then. That's the problem, you have a gun. If you start f feeling what he feels, I see. Cards of that, I will ask you to disarm yourself just in case. Alright, I'll do it. I'll take out the bullets and give you it all to you. Good enough? Yes, thank you. Okay, you convince me. Let's go. Go where? Backstage, of course. If Mr. Shawcross was able to steal your keys, he must have a way to get there. Damn, you're right. Hurry. <sighs> then the show began. Okay, there's no problem with this. At least she's rested. <laughs> <laughs> so at least uh, it is, the show starts, but do I do anything? I need to pay attention if there is prompts. Okay, she's dancing. Isn't this the part? This is what, what we saw, that she was like this. Okay. It's Arthur. I am Art fucking Rhythm. And this is gonna be my greatest work. Please be the gun of the dude. Get behind me, birdie. Detective Dark. <laughs> There's a bullet. Is it Boroni? <sighs> Police officer dead. Below past in question. What dark secrets does he hide? Shit. Wait, so... It is, uh... He steals the gun from the fucking, uh... It's not, you know, Baroni gives the the gun, then... 
Well, at least it was the officer that died and not the... Uh, Lise. At least that. At least I was able to save her, but... Uh, the problem is that, well, let's say, okay, Boron is going to give the gun, right? But then he he tries to protect uh, Lise. He can steal he can steal the gun from Lise uh, from uh, uh, the detective and shoot. So it's like uh, detective can always die with this. This is the problem. Hmm. But there we go, that's the end. Uh, of course, there's multiple endings, this is one of them. Uh, I think one of the, another ending could be, it's like you say that Baroni is gonna give the gun, and he goes straight, he doesn't let Baroni give the gun, but probably then, in that part, Arthur steals the gun, and shoots. But at the same time, it's like, uh, if I say the detective is the killer, right? Will it be the detective to shoot? So... I don't know how how the how these endings work. If it's you that uh, say uh, the who is the killer and something like that, but it's an interesting game. Look, it's very cool. Like if you like these uh, visual novels with noir setting, uh, this burlesque scenario too. Uh, so, but it's 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 a it's nicely done. It's nicely done. So. If you like what you saw, you can buy the game on Steam, it's already available. Of course, you need to like visual novels with some... Uh, it's not puzzles, you know, but you know, a little bit of gameplay that you need to use. Uh, arrow keys, mouse, you know, things like that. And of course, with different endings and choices that go, go to those endings. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye.